Okay, okay. This is part two of the messages you need to hear right now reading. Uh, the first one was already posted. I will link it below um, up under this video as well. But I was finishing off pile one. This video will have piles two and three on it. But just to finish off pile one, um, overall messages for pile one. Also, before I say that, please check out the collective message in uh, the previous video that, like I said, will be linked below because the collective message was um, super dope. So go check that out. Um, and then if you have selected piles two and three, then, you know, you're here for that. Uh, also, let me just show the piles again since the video got cut off. So pile one was people who chose this um, Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck. So those who chose pile one, go to the link below so you can see the beginning of pile one. Um, those who chose pile two chose this Moonology deck, um, Moonology Oracle deck. So those were pile two. And those who chose pile three uh, chose the uh, messages from Spirit Animal Guides uh, Oracle deck. So, okay, but yeah, just to sum it up, um, pile one, you can see the beginning on the um, initial video, but to sum it up, take your time with your creations, but it's time for you to go out there and create, just keep doing it, don't get discouraged, um, you know, have the faith, trust that this is your path, and just um, continue to be in a state of uh, gratitude, be grateful, be grateful for your gifts, um, the more that you are grateful for your gifts, the more that um, they will begin to, to shine and flourish. So stay in a state of gratitude. Okay, now, uh, pile number two. Pile number two, if you chose pile number two, you chose the Moonology deck. So let's go ahead and get some messages that you need to hear right now. Just invite the Holy Spirit again into this space so we can get um, the messages that um, those individuals that chose pile number two need to hear. Okay, full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. You can't really see the cards like that, but... Um, a fiery climax approaches. So for me, I feel like this is saying just kind of um, be mindful because something is coming up and it may create some tension. It may create an ending of some sort, but um, something is approaching where um, you may need to keep your emotions in check. You may need to keep your emotions in check. So just kind of be mindful um, of what's going on, of people trying to test your patience is, is, is what I'm hearing. Okay, two more cards came out. Um, another one says uh, emotions are running high. So yeah, um, so I want to say the, the message that I'm getting is for you to just kind of... Um, be centered and check yourself because it may be a situation coming that um, is trying to rile you up. Um, and it, you know, it may be good. It may be something, well, I want to say it may be good, but it may be something that puts you back on the right path. But I feel like the with it coming out right now, it's just kind of telling you, trying to give you a forewarning, trying to let you know to be aware of it so that when this situation does come about when you see um things probably starting to escalate maybe between you and someone else or you see your emotions getting all you know out of whack then just go ahead and know to check yourself know to check yourself um luck is on your side came out but it actually came out inverted 
So this may not be a good situation. It may not be something that you like, like the outcome of it may not be positive for you. However, I'm still getting the message for you to control your emotions and your reactions um, in this situation. So control your emotions and your um, how you react. Um, Two more cards fell out. One said adjustments are required. And then another card that fell out says um, meditate and contemplate. So um, honestly, I'm getting a feeling like this might be like a little tower moment um, kind of coming up for you. Um, that it's, it's, it might get a little heated. Um, you know, situations may escalate, which will lead to some changes. But if you are, um, number one, you're kind of getting a warning about this right now, but just, um, being mindful, just keep, keep your, keep a level head. Like the, the biggest thing that I'm getting is to just keep a level head out of this situation and trust, um, Trust the order of things because it, it 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 may be that this situation needed to happen so that um, proper changes need to occur to put you back on track, back you know back to where you need to be. So just um, kind of trust um, and just you know get in a state of meditation, contemplation, like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe really going inward to see why did this situation happen? What happened here? What do I need to learn from this situation um, in order to, you know, in order to evolve, in order to, you know, um, properly learn these lessons that I need to learn out here in life, okay? So that is pal two. Thank you, pal two. Uh, and so let's move on to pile three. For pile three, if you chose these messages from your animal spirit guides, oracle cards, we're going to get into pile three. Messages that you need to hear right now for pile three. What does pile three need to hear? Okay, Seagull, now is the time for deep emotional healing. Now is the time for deep emotional healing. And then we also have Humpback Whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. Okay, so for both of these cards to already come out, um, talking about healing, uh... It's time to go within. It's time to like face whatever it is, whatever blockages, whatever situations that are coming up that maybe you realize that you're not fully healed from. It's time to like stop running from it is 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 what I'm getting. Like don't run from it. Run into it. Face it. Um use music to do this as well, whether you're listening to music, whether you write music, whether you sing, play an instrument, whatever the case may be, but use music on this journey to like really go within and um, really go within and stop running, stop running from it. Okay, Cardinal, it says the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. Okay. Get back balance. So there may be is okay. So it, what I'm getting from this is there may be something. You may be being led to do something from your spiritual team, but your actions in the physical, and you may know this, you may already be aware of this, but maybe your actions in the physical Round 3D, what you're doing are not, you know, are kind of like going against that. And so, um, and it, it, that may be the reason why you need to do some deep healing because you, I'm again getting the sense of maybe you're running from something. Um, so maybe it's something that you really want to do, 
and your spirit team knows this and they're trying to support you and lead you to it but you're your actions your everyday actions are you know kind of going against that so it's, it's kind of saying like heal that heal that like i'm getting the the energy that i'm getting from it is like kind of like self-limiting beliefs um so maybe it's some things that you really want to do but you kind of like scared or you're not believing in yourself about it or whatever so you're doing the opposite of what you really want to do um heal that is is the the biggest message that i'm um, getting here okay and so we got one last card that says um it's the gorilla it says take the time to listen compassionately to those you love especially your family members so um connect with loved ones listen to them listen to whatever messages Listen, and, and I want to say this, listen with discernment because every message you don't need to hear. Like if you, if you feel some type of way, like if you hear something, somebody tells you some example, somebody tells you something and your body doesn't receive it and doesn't receive it as in like, in a negative way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't feel like what they're saying is promoting you know promoting growth or uplifting you in any way then you don't have to receive those messages but if deep down you feel like what they're saying is ultimately to help you and encourage you and help you push past whatever fears you may have and to you know encourage you and get you to the next level or the next point listen to that even if it may be hard to hear even if it's some tough love type stuff going on you know listen to it and maybe you won't receive it at that moment store it go back later you know reflect on it and um and 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 see what you um, see what you can gather from it. But it's it's pretty much just saying, like, take the time to listen compassionately. So, you know what I'm saying? If you know that they rocking with you, that they love you, and, you know, not trying to tell you any old thing and are genuine people in your life, take the time to listen and see what they have to say. Okay? So, those are the messages um, that you need to hear right now. Um, once again, I will post the part one to this uh below so you just click on that video and hear the uh collective message as well all right love y'all peace